Um, I get to tell my grandma. I met my first engineer and doctor. Hello and welcome back to Orange Slice Season 3. Today we have a very, very special guest. We have Dr. Oscar Rodriguez, who is both a doctor and an engineer. He is the lead, the head of the engineering department. Welcome, Dr. Rodriguez. <laughs> it's an honor to be here today with you. Thank you for the invitation. Um, we are here to discuss great things, so your audience will benefit, I think, from the information we'll share today. So thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for taking time in your busy schedule to go ahead and squeeze us in. Yeah. <laughs> so, Dr. Rodriguez, I know you are pressed for time. You're a very busy man. Um, but can you tell us a little bit about what your background was before you got to Oklahoma State University? Yes, um, I will be glad to do so. So, again, as an engineer, uh, consultant, uh, contractor, a small business owner in my area of expertise, and uh, have taught and led uh, different departments at a number of schools, of course, state schools, uh, and two military academies. And um, they found me uh, when this firm opened up last year, and they needed someone to uh, come here and help champion this initiative. So in a nutshell, uh, that's <laughs> a little bit about me. Yeah. Well, what is this program or initiative that you're speaking about? We want to know. Great. I'm glad you want to know. Mm -hmm. So uh, OSU has just reopened uh, the engineering department. Uh, and with that, we have uh, two degrees, uh, an associate and a bachelor's degree, a two plus two, if you will, uh, with uh, an umbrella under engineering technologies. And in that, um, you could um, acquire the two degree and then move to the four year degree. And they both offer orientations in various specialty areas, such as automation, robotics, uh, wow. engineering management, uh, and uh, that kind of specialty, which has a lot of demands in today's uh, marketplace. <laughs> wow. Um, so tell me what you have to do. What? Tell me what you do <laughs> here at OSU OKC. Yeah. So again, I was hired um, to open up a, an office, the Department of Engineering here, to start new programs. Uh, and uh, that's what we have done this past year. There's been a lot of remodeling, uh, and we have uh, installed one of the best state-of-the-art facilities for engineering and technology trainers, trainers um, here at um, OKC OSU. And so we're offering today um, a two-year plus a two-year degree nice. in AS, BS, um, BT, and engineering and technology. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, Dr. Rodriguez, mm -hmm. can you explain to the viewers about the FAME program? Like, what does FAME stand for? Yeah. And what does it do? Yes, I'll be glad to do so. Uh, so, FAME is the Federation for Advanced Manufacturing Education, and is a nonprofit entity that is dedicated to, uh, they call themselves the trainers or formers of the global talent. Uh, and with that, the implication is that our industries in North America have great mm -hmm. needs of um, having technicians and engineers that are very savvy in advanced technologies. When it comes to automation, robotics, and that kind of thing, we have a need to train those individuals. So they've adopted the Toyota quality system and brought that into the classroom to be able to train future technicians and engineers in those areas. And so we are a part of that because uh, there was a, um, a team that was made here, and now we have an Oklahoma City uh, fame chapter, which is made out of companies, the Chamber of Commerce, and of course, as as the educator, uh, educator provider for that. What a collaboration! You've got the educators, higher ed, the Chamber of Commerce, and who? Nonprofit organizations. Uh, well, well, nonprofits, uh, the umbrella, uh, but the nice. employer, right? The, the companies that are needing our talent, and we'll talk a little deeper about you know what the specifics of that program are. But in reality, this is how educational uh, models should work, right? Where we have mm -hmm. an alliance between schools, companies, and chambers of commerce, and nonprofits, so we can deliver what our market is requiring. Yes, yes. Thank you, Dr. Rodriguez. So what are some new exciting things you can tell us about this program? I'm so sorry. I just want to know about this FAME program, and I'm sure you students who are watching want to know as well. Tell us all you've got, Dr. Rodriguez. That is awesome. So this program is a very unique opportunity 
to literally be able to start making money at day one of school. Um, you get to be selected um, by our team mm -hmm. uh, as a candidate uh, to take the FAME uh, program here at OSU, OKC. And with that, what you have is a ticket, literally, to not get in debt with your education. So mm -hmm. you do have a chance to make money while you practice your career, mm -hmm. your future career, as an intern at a company. And so it's a, it's a dual commitment where you commit yourself to stay in school and to work for the company. Um, and so those are the big uh, items on the list. Uh, and on top of that, we have a facility here that is very unique, a state-of-the-art laboratory where we model and train you uh, to be able to go to industry and perform the tasks and functions that you're required to do in those environments. Nice. So this sounds like a wonderful program. Um, even if, you know, students are nervous about or interested about the program, they've got to come out and come and speak with you. You seem to be very knowledgeable and open to educating the students about this program, and you don't know what you can do until you try. <laughs> so, Dr. Rodriguez, would you tell people, like, how can they get involved with the program? Yeah, absolutely. Reach out to us here at OSU OKC, and um, admissions counselors are there uh, to support you. You can reach out to me even if you want to do that. You can also go to the Chamber of Commerce website. Uh, there should be a link that informs people about the FAME program. Um, and I will encourage anyone who mm. believes that they could qualify or have ambitions uh, to go ahead and apply because that's the first filter filter uh, to be able to access the program. Uh, and that way you get to learn. I see um, every so often families and individuals coming to visit on campus or having calls um, that, that they want to know more about the program. So I will say just do that. Check out the website or what website uh, come over, visit us. We'll give you a tour of our facilities, and that'll be the starting point. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so can you tell us more about the specific degrees and skills that you all teach? Yes. Again, um, associate and bachelor uh, in technology. In mm -hmm. the associate, we do all kinds of things, including um, advanced manufacturing. That includes uh, manipulating, controlling, and repairing robots and automated systems. Um, that may include also designing uh, parts and products, uh, which is very cool. Yeah, uh, You get to cool. learn software tools. Uh, you get to also prototype um, parts. And in many instances, real parts. Um, we, we do real parts here in the lab. So you can get that skill and knowledge that the companies are, are needing. Um, we also have the opportunity to um, have uh, invited guests uh, to hear about you know, what industry is needing. We also do um, end of semester presentations where you showcase your projects, your work over during the semester. And it's so cool because it builds uh, your confidence. And on top of that, you get to um, learn a lot of these very advanced um, models for becoming a best global talent in your field. And so we teach all those skills here on site. Nice. Um well, what can you tell us about the micro-credentials that are available in this program? Yeah, I'm glad you asked that. So, again, on top of your regular associate level right. or bachelor level classes, you do have uh, five modules. Uh, we call those the MCEs, Manufacturing Core um, Exercises. Mm -hmm. And with that, um, you get to gain knowledge but also credits, uh, micro-credentials, in the areas of safety, in the areas of quality, in the areas of lean manufacturing, which is a kind of a big term in the areas of problem solving, in the area of maintenance and reliability. Those are very specific areas that we know that our industries uh, have a need for. Uh, we also equip you to become a, a, a good uh, communicator, both in written format, but also in verbal communication. Our companies are looking for individuals that are confident, not only with the technical skills, but the ability to work in teams, the ability yeah. to communicate with others. And so that's part of the training that we receive. And our students really, it's impressive how they perform after one or two semesters here under that program. So it's very exciting. Well, speaking of that, can you tell us how programs like this benefit Oklahoma's workforce? Yeah, that, that really is an amazing question. And it, it literally, it could you know change the panorama of how our companies perform, right? Yeah. Uh, by bringing in these individuals that are well-trained to support their operations and production. And uh, maybe that even be um, a way to attract new employers. Uh, we have had visitors of other companies that are not in Oklahoma. They're looking at who can provide us with the skill trainers that we need. And so, you know, we, we tell them this is what we do. And so I think that opens an opportunity for both uh, new companies coming on board and the existing company having the confidence that if they're here, they're going to get the labor force they need, uh, highly skilled, highly trained, to be able to succeed in their projects and uh, products and sales. 
So it has a big impact, definitely. Yes, sir. It sounds mm -hmm. like it does. Mm -hmm. To get some students excited, could you tell us who are some of the employers and partners in this program? Yes, I'm sure they're going to be glad to hear their names, but uh, there's a number of those, including IDEX. It's a large uh, company here that do fluid uh, components, um, climate control. They're in the AC industry. Um, we also have Omada International. That company is a uh, kind of a contractor company. Uh, DOD type company. Uh, I think those are the three main ones for the moment. The Chamber of Commerce, of course, is part mm -hmm. of our allies, right? And so we work with any company who desires to sponsor students um, to be able to allow them to come to school, work at their site, provide them with an income, practice their skills, and maybe even potentially hire them after graduation. That's a, a big bonus right there on top. Yeah. Well, Dr. Rodriguez, what do you wish people knew about this wonderful program? Yeah, that's an excellent question. That This is the best secret in Oklahoma City. Uh, so come over. Um, don't go any other place. We got some outstanding facilities, laboratories, instructors, uh, support. I think I'm very impressed with OSU OKC support. Uh, again, having taught up other schools, I recognize that we have more support than normally you'll find in other institutions. And that's wonderful mm -hmm. because if you're a first generation student, I know you have a little fear. I was one of those. Um, but coming here will support you all the way until you succeed. And that's part of our goal, to get you to where you need to be, to be able to be fully employed, com uh, accomplishing your purpose as a person. So come over. Come over. That's yes. right. Come on over to OSU <laughs> OKC. Dr. Rodriguez, it has been wonderful to have you here. Um, I get to tell my grandma, I met my first engineer and doctor. And if you guys would like to meet him as well, please come on to OSU OKC. We're so honored to have you here, sir. And we're thankful to learn about the FAME program. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to watch the next episode of Orange Slice Season 3. Bye.